All right, so in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to try to create a Cosmos DB and add a collection and then try to access that collection from the code, the, the .NET code. So assuming that you're already in your dashboard for the Azure, let's go ahead and click on the Cosmos DB. Uh, go ahead and click Add. Okay, so now we have to enter the ID. Now ID could be anything, uh, but make sure that it's unique throughout the uh, uh, azure.com, documents.azure.com. So let me try to put something like db201 at, and it's gonna validate, and it's available. So go ahead and use that one. Uh, let's to create, choose the API. So for this demo, I'm gonna use uh, SQL as the API. Uh, subscription is free trial. Uh, you can either create a new resource group or you can use the existing one. Let me try to use the existing resource group. Uh, location is going to be East US. Uh, enable G geo redundancy. That's something uh, I will discuss post this uh, demo. Let's go ahead and uh, create it. It's going to take a minute to create, I guess. <clears throat> I'll pause the video and uh, resume once it's created. All right, so it took about uh, five minutes to create this database. So let's go ahead and click the database. <clears throat> and what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to create a, a collection here. So let me go to the database explorer. All right, here let's go ahead and create a new collection. So I'm gonna create new, I mean, you can go ahead and create a new database as well and uh, then attach it to the collection. Or if you're creating a new collection, it'll ask for a database ID. So let me try to show you both the ways here. So I'll go ahead and create a new database ID and, uh, sorry, uh, I'll give it a database ID. So let's say uh, db532, okay. All right. All right, we got a DB532 created. Now I'll create a new connection collection and I'll see use existing and I'll see DB532. Uh, collection ID, let's say EMP or employee. And uh, for now, you can just keep, uh, you know, like fixed uh, the storage capacity at 10 GB instead of unlimited throughput, make it 1000, which is a default. Let's go ahead and click OK. All right. So now you have the collection created. Let's go ahead and click collection and then go ahead and click documents. Now, right now there's no data. So we'll go ahead and create some data here. So, uh, I'm sorry, so let's go ahead and create new document and uh, replace your ID, let's say EM001, all right, and we'll say first name, this is standard JSON, last name I'll say all right now this could be a nested JSON also where you have multiple uh, layers in the JSON but for now let's go ahead and you know just use this JSON so this is something created now it's going to create uh, you know once we save it this is going to create some default fields as, as well uh, which we'll discuss uh, post this uh, session so let's go ahead and save it All right, so you see uh, ID is something we created, first name, last name, RID, self, e-tag, attachment. So some of the fields created by uh, the Azure DB itself, that's something we're going to discuss. So now the, the next thing which we're going to do is we're going to use this information 
uh, this database in our uh, C sharp code. So let's get to that one. Okay, so here's a little .NET code I have written. So let's go ahead, go ahead and review that code. So what you need here is if you if you look at the structure of this code, uh, you know I've just created a, a console application. These are the default uh, assemblies. What you need to add is uh, system.NET, Azure Documents, and clients. How do you do that? You go ahead and uh, click on the tools. Go to Package Manager for solution and then right now uh, okay so you, you search for microsoft.azure.documentdb and if it is not installed with your solution you go ahead and find it and then just install for this application and all those assembly will be added to your solution uh, now what's really need is uh, you know the endpoint URL and the primary key so let's go back to the Azure portal and uh, look at the key section okay so here we have the the uri that's the endpoint url so i'll just copy it and i'll go ahead and paste it here now let's go back to the primary key i'll just copy this one and i'll paste this one here all right so far so good now what it's going to do is it's going to create a new program P dot get started demo. Now let's see what it's doing. It's creating a client, the document client, and create document query. And what it's passing it's it's the DB name and the table name. So let's see what's the table name here. <clears throat> Going back to Data Explorer. So that's our DB name. So DB five three two, and the table name is employee. Okay, so I'll just change it to employee or the collection name and the standard query select star from C and what we are trying to do is we'll, we'll read the first data and we'll put the, the document dot ID. So what's the ID here if you see the document? That's the ID EMP 0001 or we can print the first name also. So let's go ahead and run it. All right, so you see here, I got the ID EMP001, Cosmos DB connected successfully. All right, so far so good. Uh, so in the next section, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a database uh, or collections. From the code itself, we're gonna create uh, uh, you know, a couple of collections and then read from there, use a where clause and so on and so forth. So thank you, bye-bye.